Jag Success of the University of South Alabama presents video tutorial with Drew Fall. Hello, my name is John Fall. I'm a Jag pal on behalf of Jag Success here at South Alabama, and I'm here to teach you about the chain rule. Alright, to first understand the chain rule, we have to understand composition functions. A composition function are two functions composed together, such as f of g of x, or as you may have learned, f of g of x. <clears throat> so let's take a, a look at a common example. We've got the sine of x squared plus 2x plus 1. So let's decompose this. We see the f of x equals sine of x, and g of x equals x squared plus 2x plus 1. If we were to compose it back, what we do is we take f of x, and instead of putting x in here, we're just going to put g of x inside. So we have a composition function. Now when taking the derivative of a composition function, we're going to use what's called the chain rule. And the general form of the chain rule is f prime of g of x times g prime of x. If we look back to our previous example, y equals the sine of x squared plus 2x plus 1, and we decompose again, so f of x equals sine of x, and g of x equals x squared plus 2x plus 1. So first we need to find out what f prime of x is. And if you remember, the derivative of sine of x is cosine of x. And the derivative of x squared plus 2x plus 1 is simply 2x plus 2. So if we look back at our general form, Instead of just f prime of x, it's going to be a composition function of f prime of x with g of x right here. So instead of putting x in here, we're going to put g of x. So we look at f prime of x, which is cosine, and instead of x, we're going to put g of x in there. And then we're going to multiply it with g prime of x, which is right here. So we have the derivative of the original function using the chain rule. Visit Jack Success here on the campus of the University of South Alabama. Jack Success is located at 111 Jaguar Drive in the Academic Support Center. At South Alabama, we never choose failure, only success. Jag Success.